Great singers have great range, and that can also mean a talent for different kinds of music that will be on display this Saturday in Somerville at a most unusual setting, the Museum of Modern Renaissance. The program will feature duets and arias from opera, as well as selections from Broadway and from the traditions of Italy and Ukraine. Our guest is one of the featured singers, along with being director of Talents of the World. We'd like to welcome Olga Lisovskaya. Also joining us is one of the creators of the museum, Nicholas Shaplika. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you. I, I want to start with, with Olga. Talk about this program because a lot of viewers might be saying, how do you mix you know, French and Italian, Ukrainian and Broadway? I mean, I mean, what keeps it together? Well, let's start with my partner, Giovanni Formizano, Italian tenor. We've been doing performances together for the past couple of years. We've known each other for many, many more years. But recently, especially since his win at an international uh, competition, voice competition, we performed together at Carnegie Hall twice, and uh, then we did a performance which was then featured on an international television, Rai, the Italian, which was viewed by millions. And both uh, Giovanni and I, we have a very, very wide repertoire. He sings uh, opera, of course, and uh, let me mention that he's from Napoli, Naples, in, in Italy. So, uh, obviously, his Neapolitan songs are amazing, his interpretations. I've heard a lot of wonderful tenors perform Neapolitan songs, and uh, Giovanni, he's my favorite uh, by far, and of course, uh, him being a Neapolitan and interpreting so beautifully these songs. We had to include them on the program. I'm from Ukraine, and so that is part of my, um, my heritage, and so I always try to include Ukrainian songs, and they're all so beautifully uh, written and composed, like Bel Canto, and so we'll have Bel Canto, of course, since we're both opera singers and Ukrainian and uh, Neapolitan and Broadway because uh, we both sing it and people love it. And so this is going to be a concert for audience that, that it wants to hear beautiful music, beautiful singing, and it's going to be for all different tastes. Uh, translating in English, bel canto means there's a real tune there. Uh, it, it seems to be in common between Italian music and Russian and Ukrainian, even of pop course. music from that part of the world. Oh, yes. I, especially since uh, Giovanni and I have been working together, we laugh all the time how much similarities, how many similarities there are between Ukrainian uh, folk uh, music and uh, um, Italian. I mean, we're both southern nations, so we're over-the-top passionate love. Um, so, and it's all depicted in the melodies. Nicholas, uh, talk about the setting, because this wasn't always a museum of the modern Renaissance. It was something else before. And, and tell you how you got from before to what it is now. Well, before it was a uh, Unitarian church built in 1910. After that, it became to be Masonic Lodge. And then uh, we took over, uh, we purchased the place and transferred it into Museum of Modern Renaissance. Now, for people who, who look at the artwork here, um, it, it doesn't look so much Florentine. It's, it's things from Russia, especially reminds me of the, the, the Silver Age artists in Russia at the early 20th century. Is, is that, am I getting close to there? Yeah, you're getting close. Silver Age is my favorite. That's why we call it Renaissance, modern Renaissance. And uh, it's a lot of mythology from different na na nations, uh, cultures, times, some prehistoric. And we actually created a single piece of art, so you can just enter inside art itself. And we call it a museum because original meaning of the word museum in Old Greek, it's a house where the muses are living, so they are alive. And that's why we host a lot of concerts with the music, because most abstract art is the music. It's going straight to your heart, to your blood stream, and just touch you. And especially with setting clave like we create, it's just working very well together with the color, with the voices, with the music. And by the way, it's very good acoustic because its main hall is decorated with the stretches canvases and it's resonate sound like a membrane, creates some sort of unforgettable effect. Now, now, most visual artists, you know, they want a studio or even just a wall. Uh, you had a vision. I mean, working on this scale with this kind of a building, what is this going to be about, you hope? Well, uh, we're working together with my wife, 
Екатерина Сорокина. And we're working together on each piece. We don't do any preliminary sketches or drawing and trying to keep um, emotion fresh. Because emotion should be alive and kicking. You cannot just use it like a canned food. So that's why we're working pretty much swift to catch this emotion. Olga, well, you and your uh, colleague in this performance, uh, you also recently played in a very different environment in New York City, Carnegie Hall. What was that like? And, and the people who came, tell me about that. <laughs> it was phenomenal. You know, it's definitely artist's dream. Any opera singers or classical singers dream or instrumentalists to perform at Carnegie Hall. It is a magical place where things happen, where you get to be seen by agents, by um, donors, sponsors, and of course, general public. And uh, to tell you the truth, my first time I performed at Carnegie Hall, I really did not expect uh, such warm and easy welcome. I thought I was entering into some kind of more sophisticated and difficult part of the um, audience members. But as soon as we sang the very first piece, people were so warm and so receptive and uh, welcoming that the whole uh, concert was really just a pleasure and we got standing ovations. And Giovanni, after singing in one of the concerts, uh, got approached by an agent right away and uh, engaged. Uh, to be on his roster. So Giovanni is going places now and I'm very happy for him and it's a unique opportunity for all of us to hear us together on Saturday. And I love what uh, Nicholas was saying, how when they paint, they paint fresh while the emotions. Well, I called this concert painting with vocal colors. Like I Color or two. Yeah, right? like, <laughs> yeah, like oh, watercolors, but vocal colors, because really when we sing, we are painting with the voice. We're painting the emotion. We're painting our inner world for people to see. That is why it is so important for pe people to come and witness live performance rather than a recording, because it's, especially in this setting, it will be something, a uh, true experience. And then afterwards, there will be continuing, uh, we're going to continue such artistic experience with the art of wine and dine, because we have some uh, local businesses uh, joining us, such as Georgian Toast, uh, bringing Georgian wine. So we have Italian, Ukrainian, Russian, American, Georgian, a whole international uh, place. This has been a news, and we're talking with Olga Lysovskaya and Nicholas Shapliko. Uh, Nicholas, you recently had some other performances at the same setting at the museum. Uh, what was that like? Uh, it was uh, rock, and it was uh, two uh, performers from New York. It was a uh, five-string bass guitar and a um, drummer, and they, I'm not a very fan of rock, but they was performing pretty complex music, and not like, you know, uh, you beat with a stick on a bucket, it's something <laughs> different. It was a music, <laughs> and it was very happy. It was like around 120 people who came to see it. All right, I know you have a, a mixed program, but talk about some of the numbers that you're going to be singing. Okay, well, duets is something definitely some of my favorite um, repertoire to sing, especially with Giovanni, of course, La Traviata. It's a piece that I've always wanted to perform ever since I was six, seven years old because of the music. The music, Verdi, um, really speaks to me. I'm being Ukrainian and Southern um, person. I'm quite passionate about uh, music and uh, my mom worked at a professional opera house and so by the age of six and seven I've already seen the opera many times, La Traviata, so I'm very excited about that. And then of course uh, some comedy, Elisir d'Amore, the elixir of love and you'll get to see Giovanni acting like a drunk uh, peasant and me slapping him, oops I don't want to give away too much. Of course, Neapolitan songs, Ukrainian songs, the Broadway piece that we're going to present, which is loved by uh, audiences wherever we sing it, is Tonight, Tonight from the West Side Story. Bernstein and, from Boston. Yeah. Yes, and then a lot of other wonderful pieces in French and uh, in English and Italian. 
And all of the information you can see on my website, uh, www.olgalisovskaya.com. And also, if you want to learn more about uh, Museum of Modern Renaissance, you can go to... Uh, mod-renaissance.com. It's easy. Mod stands for modern. All right. Thank you both very much, Nikos Shaplicha and Olga Lisovskaya. We'll have more news in just a moment.